Since its establishment in 1975, the Signal and Image Processing Laboratory, known as CEPL, has been at the forefront of research and education, particularly for the processing of speech, audio, image, video, 3D data, and physiological signals. In our lab, over 100 undergraduate students carry out more than 50 projects each year, many of them in collaboration with industry. One of the lab's areas of interest is acoustic signal processing. These days, almost everyone carries a smartphone that has built-in microphones and speakers, which can be utilized for a variety of useful everyday applications. Since sound waves move at six orders of magnitude slower than electromagnetic waves, their processing is much more efficient. Currently, our students work on several projects in this field, and here are two examples. The first one is acoustics-based user authentication using a smartphone. In this project, students developed a sound-based solution for user authentication when logging into a workstation. The application consists of two parts, one running on the user's smartphone that is used to verify the user's presence near the workstation, and one serving as a lock screen for the workstation. The mobile phone transmits an encrypted acoustic password, which is picked up and decoded at the workstation. In addition, using the smartphone's accelerometer, Automatic locking can be performed as soon as the user leaves the location with his smartphone. The second project also utilizes acoustics, but this time for an electronic payment app. In this project, students developed a digital wallet app that utilizes sound waves to perform acoustic localization. The app measures the distance between the customer and the cashier and allows payment only if the customer is within the desired range. The device measures the range by sending an acoustic signal, the cashier's device responds with another signal, and the range is calculated according to the time of propagation. In addition to range measurement, the students developed a frequency-based communication system between the devices. Both systems rely on sound waves only. The technology demonstrated is versatile and can be used for a range of applications.